So it's officially been two years since I started stalking actress and producer Paula Garces. And the first time I tracked her down, Garces was super excited to talk about her books featuring Latina superhero Aluna, which is a big deal. But she had even bigger plans for the comic book character, and we are super happy to say that she's joining us this morning with some really great news. People, please welcome New York's very own Paula Garcet! Hi, everyone. Hi, New York. Hi, Good OG. Good morning. You're saying hi, New York, because New York is home to you, too. You grew up in Spanish Harlem, you were telling me the last time we met. I did, I did. New York City is home. Even though right now I'm on the West Coast finishing up on my block on Netflix, I always miss New York, and New York is home base, so... Uh, yeah, I miss you guys. <laughs> oh, we miss you more. So we're going to get to On My Block. But let's talk about Aluna, because when you when we first talked about this, you just, all you had was the comic book. You're like, I have this comic book series. Blah, blah. And I was like, oh, cool. And I thought that was exciting. And now you have a gaming deal, Paula. Yeah, I mean, it's been really exciting. Aluna has been an IP that I've worked really hard since 2008. We have eight books to date. We have a graphic novel. And now Aluna is available in her own video game on Nintendo Switch and Steam, soon to come on PlayStation and Xbox. And I'm being slated as the first Latina to produce, create, voice, star in her own video game independently. And I humbly take that title and hope that I inspire other Latinas, Latinos, women, all kinds of young people, and also ageism. And, you know, it's never too late to dream big. And that's really our message. Oh, my God. Well, what I have to say to you right now is, like, I'm looking at the hair standing up on my arms. It's usually cold in here, <laughs> but as you're saying all of that, like, I literally felt, like, so much pride for you. I'm so proud of you because I remember how this story started for you. And we're talking about what are we going to wear to Comic-Con, you know what I mean? And some other people would probably <laughs> just had this dream and not gone after it, but you're taking it to another level. So for those who haven't seen or read any of the comic books or for those who are going to go buy the game, talk to us about the storyline of Aluna. So Aluna, Sentinel of the Shards, available on Nintendo Switch and Steam, is an action RPG game. It's a lot of fun. You're going to get to explore 16th century Latin America, and you are going to be a Latina warrior, and you're going to play a Latina warrior, and she's half goddess, half conquistador, and you're going to fight conquistadors, you're going to fight rival tribes of ancient civilizations of South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. There's going to be mystical creatures in the jungle. I mean, you name it. It's so much fun. It is rated E for everyone, 10 years plus, but I will tell you, my seven-year-old son is playing it. I'm completely comfortable with him playing it. He's interested now in his own culture and history. And yes, there's some action and some fighting, but there's no blood. So I am really hoping that right now for Father's Day, uh, fathers out there will get the game as a gift and they get to play with their daughters, with their sons. And it's really a cool game for everyone. I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm very proud of it. Oh, we are proud of you. I'm just saying everywhere we look, you're there, Paula, because when <laughs> I look at, I'm in Times Square, we have a billboard. I said we, because... I'm part of the team. <laughs> you are part of it. Stop! Look at us! Look years. at this! Yeah. Okay, so there's the Times Square billboard, Paula, and then if I go over to Netflix, you're over there on my block. And who who did I hear is uh, directing to? Maybe an episode or yes. so? Yes, thank you for bringing that up, OG. It's been a long time coming. I've been an actress in Hollywood for more than 32 years, and this is the first time that I've been given a chance to direct my first episode of television. And it's all thanks to Netflix, uh, all the creators and producers of On My Block, especially Lauren Unerich, who really was a champion from the beginning. And it was actually her idea. She, she thought I should shadow a director and then she put me in the Netflix director's program, and here I am today. And I'm not going to be humble. I think I did a good job. I hope people think that episode two, season four, becomes one of their favorites so I can keep on directing. <laughs> I haven't even seen it. It's already my favorite. 
Like I am oh, saying, okay, okay. it is already my favorite like episode of all time of any show. I don't even care. Let me tell you, we're gonna make a plan now. So up, we're gonna check out final season of On My Block. I'm gonna check out episode two. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna ding, 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 and say it's my favorite. And then we're gonna plan our, our, our Luna outfits to go to Comic Con. And then we're gonna Let's plan other it. TV or movies movies that you wanna direct. We're gonna plan that. In that order, does that order work for you? That order works just fine. And OG, you know I'm gonna hold you to that. So next Comic Con that we can go together safely and, and you know and healthy, we are gonna be there with a Luna outfits. What? You and don't have you're to. Gonna ask. Be my, you you're don't gonna e be my number one. Okay? Yeah, you don't even know. <laughs> you you don't even have to ask. I, I'm already like doing crunches here. I'm doing like you know, <laughs> just so I can fit in my outfit. You don't, you can't see me, but I'm going like this. Really, OG, you really don't have to because oh. honestly, my mission is for all of this to be all inclusive, to include all cultures, all kinds of people. And I want everyone to feel comfortable and happy playing Aluna. And I want people to be seen, mm -hmm. not only just not only just on the sideline, but to be front and center. So I wanna be able to make sure that young people understand that if you have a big dream, dream it even bigger, it's possible no matter what, and it's never too late. Please, everyone, go get Aluna Sentinel of the Shards on Nintendo Switch and Steam, soon to come on PlayStation and Xbox. Follow me on all the social media. At Aluna Superhero it was super easy to follow and fun, and I just hope everyone supports. The Super Shiro has spoken. The real life <laughs> Super Shiro has spoken. You have Aluna for the games. We have you in real life. Paula, see you at Comic Con or maybe me being an extra in your next movie. Just saying, congrats on everything. You heard what she said. Aluna Sentinel of Shards is available wherever video games are sold. We're doing it big, people. We, and by we, I mean Paula and OG, <laughs> doing it big. I don't know about you guys. Bye, yes. Paula. <laughs> Bye. Done, done, and done. Mwah. Thank you.